my head may or may not be cut off in this video, but what's down here is a little bit more important anyway. So I just got back from the dollar store and I wanted to share this great haul of stuff that I got for my new ferret, Bailey. This is Bailey. Just adopted him a few, time, a few days ago. So I just got a whole bunch of stuff, enrichment stuff for him, basically. And I wanted to share with you guys this awesome haul of things that you can get at the dollar store for your ferret. There's a lot of these things could also be used for a cat or a dog as well. So that's the good news. So this is going to be in no particular order. It's just kind of how I grab it out of the bag. And Bailey is already checking out everything in the bag. So it's a ferret video, mind the ferret. Um, so for starters, you can get, this is a dishwashing pail. It's like a... I don't know what they call it. It, it. It's a big container for washing your dishes in. And it's a really good size. Ferret can fit his entire body in here. So cut these down in the front. Leave one or two of the corners whole. And then just cut down the sides so it's easier for him to get into. And boom, you got an appropriate ferret size litter box for $1. You can also get uh, shredded paper, like paper shreds for, it's like bag filler for gifts that you could use as colorful litter or colorful bedding if you wanted. I buy actual um, compressed pellet newspaper litter for him. And the dollar store has a bunch of other containers as well. These are just the most readily available that are going to be a very good size for ferrets or for a kitten but sometimes you can find ones like made for like taking cookies in or like a plastic lasagna container. And then again, you could kind of cut down part of it for easier access to turn into a litter box. So I'll throw that over there, he's gonna play in that. Um, now this I didn't actually get, this particular one I didn't get at the dollar store. I found this at a thrift shop. It's clearly brand new, never used. But the dollar store during the summer usually has them as well. And what this is, is it's like a plasticky lunch bag. And it just has like the plasticky thermo on the inside. And with the handles, flip up the handles, handles and you can have a knapsack. Now that being said, I'm probably gonna have to make it a little lower so it's easier to get in and out, get out of. But, boom, like that, clip up the ends to the cage. You have a ferret knapsack. Probably you could fit two ferrets in here tightly, but they like to be snug as a bug in a rug, or at least um, when I had two ferrets, they didn't care. They would cram themselves into like the smallest bed together. So you can also just clip like the back of it to the cage and have it like laying on one of your levels to make kind of like a little tube knapsack sleeping bag that way. Either way, the fact that this is like a plastic material is really nice because I can just wipe it clean with a little bit of very dilute bleach water or, or hydrogen peroxide, rinse it off and dry it with paper towels for very, very easy cleaning in case somebody has an accident or it'd be good for travel for that reason in case they go in their carrier because it's going to be very, very simple to clean. And the dollar store gets ones like this all the time during the summer. It's not quite as plasticky as this. It's more of a vinyl, the ones they get. But again, fairly easy to hand clean or just wipe clean or hand wash with suds in your sink. So really handy, hammock, knapsack, whatever, easy to clean for a dollar. I mean, can't beat that. Uh, this I didn't get at the dollar store, so we're gonna ignore that. But I guess not. Um, this is kind of like a knitted handbag. So you can buy some dollar stores, like the bigger ones or the family dollars, you can buy yarn at, and you could actually knit a little bag where you could knit a tunnel tube for your ferret, and you could put little things on it that you can tie it onto your bars. Again, really cheap DIY. 
Okay. Um, socks, packs of socks from the dollar store. And then I just knotted them together to make this neat little rope toy that he can toss around. Or you, again, you can hang it from the bars. And it's something that he can kind of kick around and roll with. Um, this is actually for my dog but you can use a ferret too. You don't even have to knot them together. Just give them the sock or, you know, maybe cut off the, the sole end of the socks. So you now have a crawl through tunnel that you can clip or, or tie onto your cage, or you can even have like a little hammock out of that if it's stretchy enough. These are pretty stretchy and pretty durable. Um, so there's just so many things. It's such an easy, cheap toy. And my dog loves to destroy crap. So I'm always looking for easy, really cheap toys that I can make or bring home to him because he he's a Rottweiler. He destroys everything in no time flat. Like he lives to get the squeaker out of toys and he lives to undo knots. So this is a very cheap $1 toy that I know he's just gonna destroy anyway. I think, I think uh, Bailey has found one of his toys. Speaking of which, um, cat balls with bells in them. These are the big, big size ones. Sorry, I think that was probably too high for the camera. I apologize. Um, so these are a big sized ball with bells in them for cats. And Bailey's original owner told me that he absolutely loves things that make noise. As you can hear, he's actually found one of the cat's toys that makes noise and he's playing with it. It's not even his toy originally. It was the cat's, but he gets more use out of it. And that is just a fabric mouse shaped cat toy, also from the dollar store, by the way. It look, it, you can kind of see he's just having so much fun with it. Carrying it around, tossing it around, it makes noise. So I also got him his big giant cat balls here for him to play with because they make a lot of noise and he can pick them up and carry them around with them. Microfiber towels. So this is just a um, microfiber kitchen towel. It's super soft. It's super fuzzy. I had two of them. And these are for me to stick inside. He's got like this little pop-up tent toy or um, box or any hammock for me to stick in there and I can take one out just throw it in the wash put the next one in and um so forth rotate them every week so he's got a nice little soft bedding he can snuggle in that is very easy to clean it's very cheap so it'll help help keep him smelling fresh this it's just a pillowcase. So it's kind of like the whole sock bit. This can be a toy that he can just roll around with. Now this one has a zipper. I'm probably gonna take the zipper out in this case, but you can hang it up, make a nice big hammock out of it. That also has an area. So you'll have a hammock on top plus an area um, inside they can crawl around as a, a knapsack, so it's like a combination hammock knapsack. You can just throw this on the floor during playtime. They can crawl under it, they can crawl in it. And this is very large. So if you have a um, business, which is the technical term for a group of ferrets. So you've got a fairly good sized ferret, group of ferrets, like two could fit on here very comfortably probably even three maybe four if you know they're small or something um so i bought this just so i have another hammock slash knapsack for them you can clip it onto the side of your cage and just kind of have it you can sew it together and have like a tunnel or clip it together like just pull it half and clip it to the cage so you've got like a hanging tunnel or you can clip it flat in one of your levels and have a tunnel, double tunnel, because they can bury in through the flat of the pillowcase as well. So it's really nice. 
Again, you, I mean, you could do that with hand towels too if you just need a cheap hammock. Go to the dollar store, get a hand towel and whatever color matches your color scheme that you wanna do for your ferret. Fold it in half like this and just clip it, clip it up or open it up and, you know, clip it up that way and, and have a hammock. You could even do with the, with, um, the towels, you could do the no sew method where the whole way around you make small cuts to make strips, layer two of them together or fold it in half and then you just tie the knots together to make a no sew hammock. That could be two different colors. So lots of possibilities at the dollar store for bedding. Why are you gonna go to PetSmart and pay eight plus dollars for a ferret hammock when you can go to the dollar store and make one out of a comfy, soft, microfiber uh, kitchen towel and some clips. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't. So, I mean, the only thing is you gotta get kind of crafty with the clips. Like they're not already on there for you, but this is gonna hold up a lot easier a lot more to washing than one of the actual ferret, like Kaidi ferret hammocks have in my experience. Um, oven mitt. Again, snuggly, warm, soft ferret tunnel. Either just for playtime or you can, you know, clip it um, on one of the levels, like from the bars that sits on one of the levels of your cage for them to crawl into. You can hide a treat all the way in the back or in the little thumb part so that you create a little um, scavenger hunt for more mental stimulation as well. So this, I got this for him because his original owner told me that he really, really loved um, slippers that like slippers with a closed toe, he would just like put his head in it and go to sleep or he'd like try to curl up his entire body in it if he could. So they didn't have enclosed toed slippers. So instead I got an oven mitt. So what Bailey is playing with right now is remember that the packaging to your toys or some of the items, <laughs> some of your items, I think it can be just as fun and appealing for the ferret to play with. So I have like an empty, his empty cage box is out for him to play in. But what this is, uh, is I bought some Russell Stover candies, some chocolate candies. And these are, um, they're individually wrapped in like fully sealed foil wrapping. So there is no kind of chocolate or sugar or any kind of, candy food leakage inside these bags. It's a perfectly clean bag. But this one smells like lemon and this one smells like mint. So the wrapping to some of the things you buy yourself even can provide enrichment for your ferret or even for your cat or your pet rat because you're offering something that's perfectly clean that contains a different scent. So it provides enrichment by being something that provides a different scent for them to explore. So it's something different that they've probably never smelled before. And he, he'll probably drag this around, probably go hide it too. So just don't forget your wrapping. It, it's cheap, it's easy, you're gonna throw it out anyway. I'm just gonna have him on the floor for one or two days for him to play with during his playtime, and then they'll get thrown out. And then the next time I buy something different, like maybe the uh, Russell Stover strawberry ones I like so much, he'll get that as a new scent for him to explore and check out. And he is going nuts for the mint one right now, by the way. He's like, screw the lemon, but he really likes this mint one. And he's rolling around with it right now, tossing it up in the air. Uh, and what, what you might have seen me playing Tug of War with him for was this. These are little rolls of doggy poop bags. So the dollar store is also good for cleanup. And you can also get, if you prefer to scoop 
your ferret's cage or your ferret's litter box. They, of course, have litter scoopers there or actual litter pants instead of the, the dish pan. Depends what you want. Um, and there's like 80 individual bags on this. And I find it's easier for me to just, you know, scoop and grab with the bag than it is to actually try to scoop a corner litter box. So I bought these. And going... And going along with the bags, another cleanup supply, which I don't have right here, would be rolls of paper towels. Is something you can get from dollar stores very cheaply to help you clean up. They're pretty cheap in bulk packaging too, places at Walmart. Something very simple, boxes, whoops, boxes of tissues. Very simple. And I can pull these off, make sure they are, have no lotion, they don't have any like Vicks on, make sure there's no lotion, no Vicks, no scents of any kind, just plain white paper tissues, which I find are the easiest to find at the dollar store. And I got the extra big ones because they cost the same amount of money as the regular ones. So we pop this off. I'll kind of bury in there. I'll hide some treats between the different layers of tissues. And he'll basically have to yank the tissues out, dragging the box all over the floor and kind of digging and ripping up through the tissues inside the box in order to get at the treats. It's a lot to clean up, but you are you making your ferret use so many muscles and you're making them hunt and scavenge for the treats for the for the food you're they're going to be using you know all their all their leg muscles to scratch and claw and when it's empty i uh, have the bigger one i think he if he wanted he could actually probably barely just curl his body up inside this box so for a dollar who cares now clearly this is a toy that i don't think you're going to want to keep in the cage with your ferret this is more of a playtime in the playpen under supervision kind of toy. Um, but this was something that I actually found from, I think it was like ferretcare.com? No, 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 it was, uh, sorry, it was the uh, American Ferret National Society. Something, something, the actual ferret group, society group. Um, though they suggested toilet paper, the four packs of toilet paper that you can sometimes find at the dollar store and you cut a Y in the plastic bag and then you can hide treats in the rolls or whatever by poking holes in the top and dropping in treats and again it's for the ferret to scavenge for the food dig and rip up the the toilet paper but uh, I decided to do this instead because he I tried doing like toilet paper like we were in the I was in the bathroom with him and he wasn't over like he was yeah about the toilet paper. He didn't try to rip it up or anything. And the boxes of tissues hiding the treats between the layers, that is actually a trick that is suggested for birds. And I used to own a ferret. So I decided I would try the tissues instead first since he didn't seem too keen on the toilet paper. Um, though speaking of toilet paper, the toilet paper rolls are very handy. You just kind of twist the end shut put treats in there, twist the other end shut. You make like a little tootsie roll with treats in the middle um, for the ferret to roll around and toss up in the air and whatnot to get the treats out. You can um, wrap the treats up in a little piece of toilet paper, like that one last square of toilet paper at the end of the roll. Wrap it up, ball it up, and then shove it inside the toilet paper roll. Bailey loves that. It is one of his absolute favorite playtime things to do. So I'm hoping he's really going to enjoy this because it's a little bit more similar. But a lot more stuff for him to shred. Squeaky dog toy. Oh, he's looking. Look at this. Look, look. He comes right over for the squeaky toy. He is interested. Again, like I said, um, Bailey's owner told me that he loves things that make noise. So I got him this, and I got him the bigger one, so if he jumps on it, it'll make noise instead of like a squeaky stick sort of thing. He's definitely interested. I don't know how much more he's going to play with it beyond that, because he seems, uh, they told me he's more bigger fan of like bells and that sort of thing that make noise. And as you can see, he keeps playing with the bag. They told me he loves things that crinkle. So this is just a um, dog toy with a crinkly tail, 
and <laughs> that I got at the dollar store. And I'm actually gonna clip it up upside down by the tail in his cage so that while I'm away, he can be rolling around kicking and batting at this. And while he's rolling around kicking and batting at it, that this thing is swinging back and forth in the cage, it's going to be crinkling. So that sound is going to entice his instincts. And you saw him rolling around, I think, with the, the mouse toy. He's, he's a big fan. You can kind of see here he's batting and playing at it already just with me. He's, he's playing more with the tag probably right now, but don't worry, I'll be cutting the tag off before he gets it in his cage. So, and to help you actually hang stuff up in the cage, if he didn't take it, you can buy binder clips. These are just the metal clips for kind of like holding um, big stacks of paper with. These work just fine. I have his litter box attached with a small version of this. I used these before to hang up um, like homemade hammocks. You can either actually open them up as a clip. He really likes that mint one. And um, clip something like this so it's clipped onto the bar. Or you can tie, if you make loops or something on like your, um, your hand towels, like a no sew loop, you might want to, you should probably reinforce it though with a little bit of thread. Um, and you can just do that by hand and you can tie it on. Just tie it on to here and then clip it. Boop. Just like, so it would, I mean, this part of them be in the cage instead of outside, but you can just tie it on and just have it physically attached and just clip it on. The only thing that's annoying with that is these don't go through the washer and dryer quite as well as the, oh, where is it? Bailey knocked everything down. Oh, I know you're having so much fun. Here it is. They don't go through the wash quite as well as um, a lot of the hammocks have like a plastic clip on them. Like this is a store-bought hammock that came with him. This is an $8 hammock, by the way, from Petco. Just to give you a pricing idea. But uh, a lot of the hammocks have these plastic clips. These are don't do a lot of damage to your washer or your dryer. Whereas this, you're almost going to have to untie the hammock from these clips in order to wash it. And I mean, you should be washing bedding like once a week. So it's a bit of a pain in the rear end. But all of that, tunnels, toys, hammocks, you know, enrichment toys, cleaning supplies, so much stuff that you can find at the dollar store for your ferret. Um, and then the last thing that I have here, now this is a holiday thing. So this is a plate tray for you to set like deviled eggs on. And then I got a pack of Easter eggs. These are the like classic Easter eggs. And the idea is open this and they're going to sit on the holes like this and you put a treat underneath. And they come by and he smells them and have to knock them over and move them to get at the treat. You can even put them like this so it's a little harder to get at the treat, but it's different levels. And this idea is actually based on an idea that I got from there are toys made that are basically the same concept that are made for dogs to hide their treats in. Now this is not nearly sturdy enough, I would say for a, most dogs, maybe a small dog or a dog that's not very destruct destructive or very gentle, but for ferrets, rabbits, ratties, guinea pigs, this is a great enrichment tool. Just line them all up, hide treats under some, maybe hide like, um, make like a little, take a little swatch of fabric, stuff it with cotton, or just make like a little cotton, little square pouch that you can open and close and you can put different scented things in there like grass clippings um, that he can, again, different scents for them. You can get, you can make a, speaking of, of scented fabrics to show, introduce new scents for mental stimulation, to your ferret again you know you can just buy anything fabric from the dollar store 
and you can sew, cut it up into different pieces. You can um, cut it up, you can make pockets with like some Velcro. You can usually buy Velcro at the dollar store and like hand sewing kits and kind of sew things together and make what's called a scent mat. You don't have to go buy fabric, just use whatever's fabric from the dollar store or um, most craft shops do have like remnants which are super cheap. <laughs> so stuff like that, like there's, there's so many things that you can get at the dollar store or from thrift shops so you don't have to buy it in the store. So you'll be able to offer a lot more to your ferret and he's just, he's just going nuts. Like he just wants all this stuff. So that's everything that I got today for him. I mean, this wasn't brand new, but and like I said, the, the soft toy is actually for my dog. Not for him. But he's playing with it. Like, I'm, I'm wiggling it around. He's jumping for it and hunting and coming for it and doing the war dance and, like, trying to attack the toy. And, yeah, that's for you. There's so much stuff for you, Bailey. I didn't even have treats in those yet, and you want them, huh? Yeah. So he's playing. You can also buy, like, um... The actual like cat teaser rod toys, they're great for ferrets too. Right now he's content on trying to get the eggs out of this bag apparently. <laughs> A little tug of war rope even for the ferret. So it's just so much stuff that you can do. I gotta try and, I gotta get tags off of everything and like I'm gonna wash the towels and stuff before I give it to him initially and all of this stuff is going to be sanitized uh, you can buy hydrogen peroxide and alcohol and bleach and all of that and spray bottles at the dollar store for you to make a dilute sanitizing solution um, for your ferret cat dog whatever um, in order to sanitize this stuff with just spray it on and then rinse the heck out of it basically is what I do I think this egg is broken there we go. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to get that they don't have out yet, it's, um, they're for like um, office storage. They are, it's a little tower, it's plastic, and then it has three miniature plastic drawers in it that pull out. And I'm talking about the mini size that are meant for to sit on a desk for you to put like your paper clips in and your push pins and stuff like that. Of course, there's the full size versions. Usually they're five drawers and they're like a drawer organizing kit or whatever they're called. Well, the dollar store does get the miniature size and those are a very good um, foraging uh, toy for ferrets as well. You can put treats in the drawers. You can stuff the drawers with the colorful shredded paper um, bag stuffing things that I mentioned earlier, you know, to kind of hide the treats. So they got to dig around that um, or, you know, stuff it with shredded paper towel. If you got a paper shredder, use that, whatever. Obviously start easy and work your way up. And the idea is that they have to grab the little handle in their mouth and back up and pull open the drawer and then root around in the filling in order to find the treats.